you already know what day it is it's iphone day what's going on youtube so today's video we have the full iphone 15 lineup we're going to be showcasing this with the new subcase cases for the iphone 15 but i didn't even know we were getting the dumb units but we have them here and we will be doing a drop test in this video with all three cases here we have the unicorn beetle pros as well as the unicorn beetle style here first off the style on this even on the dumb units they do have those little um, rounded off edges so it's not sharpened like the original iphone 13 iphone 14 iphone 12 how that design is which is nice and there are they are pretty true to size as well as weight when it comes to that since these are supposed to be lighter and they do weight, put weights in them in order to them to feel like the real units. So they do a really good job on that. That's the full lineup right here. We're gonna get into the first few cases here. This is the 15 Pro Max here. These cases retail for about $20 on average. Pretty inexpensive. You do have MagSafe here in the back so you can actually use it with any MagSafe accessory here. You can use it with power banks as well, wallets. Let's go ahead and get the 15 Pro Max here. Show you what it looks like. Perfect case, perfect cutouts here. Uh, all the speaker as well as the charging. You do have the button press and it feels really good on hand. You have the volume rockers, everything. There we go, you even have the button for the action button right there. The camera is very protected on this case as well as the screen. So whenever you're placing your phone down. So this is the Unicorn Beetle Pro, the maximum protection degree holster. And uh, it shows you how to install it right here in the card. So you're gonna get your phone here, but let's just go and check this out here. You do have a dust uh, proof lid right here to close dust and dirt. So this one does have the new MagSafe implemented into the actual case itself, more protection. Wireless charging does work on it as well. You do have that pop out kickstand, which is, I love this case, black and red. I'm literally wearing red in coincidentally right now. But yeah, that's an amazing case right there as well. The 15 Plus, same thing. It's a, in a black style. You do have that uh, kickstand as well as MagSafe available. Perfect. So these are the three cases that they went ahead and sent out. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop test them now. All right, so we have the iPhone 15s here. We're gonna be drop testing them. Now, Subcase provided me with some dummy units here. So we have the 15 Pro in the pro level versions and then we do have your style case in case you you know just want to rock your phone with a clear case or just more slim as opposed to the unicorn beetle pro so this is the, this is the uh previous condition we do have a screen protector on it as well and then you have to peel off the back but you can see the condition on the cases right now the condition on the phone they're basically brand new uh, as you've seen from them. So these are the UB Pros, maximum protection. They retail for about 30 to 35 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. iPhone 15 screen face down. We're gonna do this at about six feet. Three, two, one. So it flipped over, but we're perfectly fine so far. Three, two, one. That was face down and we're we're still good. Case is good. It's kind of scratched up a bit, so we're gonna switch to the 15 plus because I like that case. The color on it is nice. I'm gonna have it for display. Uh, 15 plus now. We're just gonna throw this one in the air. Okay, so we did have a little bit of a shatter. You can see that through the screen right there. A little bit of a shatter. And I'm pretty sure that's just on the phone itself. This, these are cheaper materials because they're uh, dummy units, but for the most part, let's just, let's just check it out. All right, so taking a look at the 15 plus here, the back is good. We did drop it on the front, so the front, it will be more of the damage. Last year, it did a really good job. This year, it looks like it didn't do a good job for the pro, the plus series, I should say. Not looking good for the 15 plus. Uh, Usually these cases do a really good job, so we're gonna keep breaking this one. Don't worry. Last year we did the iPhone 15 Pro Max drop test with the same cases, if you've seen that video. Um, and that, that, that phone survived like 30 drops. This phone literally didn't even survive two. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer right there. I don't know why that was, but I do trust subcase with phones. Like if this was my real phone, I would drop it and I would be perfectly fine with it. 
but this is the that condition just off of that second one we're going to try it on the back side now just to see if it breaks that's why also why i didn't want to do the regular uh 15 because i knew that was going to probably break back side off of 15 we're just going to do the same thing uh back side of the 15. that one kind of hit curved so we're going to do it again cool we're gonna do that again we're gonna throw it in the air not like that not bad we're gonna throw it in there three two one all right something fell out so the screen did shatter a little bit it looks like one of the camera lenses actually fell out you can probably see right here so one of the camera lenses actually popped off that's funny that won't happen on, I guarantee you that won't happen on the real model, but this is just the fake one. But you can see the screen. I think we're pretty much beat on this one. We will still throw it. Don't worry, don't worry. But it's a little beat. All right, looking at the backside for the first time. Perfect. It's perfect condition. Obviously the front is shattered. You can see through it. I'm not even gonna bother to take off the thing cause I don't wanna get cut this year. <laughs> like we always do. But looks like so far, this one's pr practically gone. So we're, we're just going to forget about that one. This, this one's iPhone 15 Pro Max in the style case for the Unicorn Beetle. This is our more stylish cases. As you can see here, flawless. I'm scared because I don't want this one to break. But <laughs> if it breaks, it breaks. It's a beautiful looking phone right now. So you can see the condition on it. All right, please don't break. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, drop test. We're gonna drop it in three. We're gonna drop it face down in three, two, one. That's already not good. Okay, so the camera little piece popped off again because they're just, they're just little uh, adhesive pieces, but perfectly good condition. You can see that there, perfectly fine. I really don't wanna mess up this case too much because I'm like I said before, I'm gonna rock this one, but we're gonna do face down now. On the back side, I meant. Still is perfectly fine. We're gonna throw it in the air now. That was out of frame. It's still good. You can see that there. It's just a little dusty, but it's it's still holding up really good. I, I like that. Appreciate you guys on that sub case. You're doing a really good job when it comes to the cases. Even their less expensive, quote unquote, cases are still doing a great job. I'm not too sure why the expensive case broke the phone, but uh, it just did. So I don't even know. We're gonna do this again. We're just gonna throw it straight up in the air and see if it breaks. Cause the other one failed on that. So we're gonna see if this one fails. It's still good. It's still good. That was drop test uh, four, I believe, three or four. And it's still holding up. So we're gonna do it again. That was out of frame again. So it popped out of the case, but it's not broken. Like you can see that it popped out of the case. I'll just pop it back in and it's pretty much back in, in its alignment. You can see here on the back, perfectly fine. The front, the screen is perfectly fine. The cameras are perfectly fine. So 15 Pro Max passes this one. All right, so we have the Case Q iPhone 15 Pro Max cases here. You can see the condition on the, case, the phone itself. Beforehand, it's flawless. We're gonna pop it in here and see if Case Coup does a good job when it comes to drop testing the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So first we're gonna do face down. Like I mentioned before, it's perfectly fine. So face down, iPhone 15 Pro Max. That failed immediately. That sucks. <laughs> Not even after the first drop, that's crazy. But after the first drop, you seen this Case Coup? That's kind of, that sucks. That kind of sucks. I wanted to keep this dummy unit too, but it broke. So we're gonna just break it some more. We're gonna do the backside now, see if it protects the cameras. Definitely did not. So uh, yeah, case Q. Not very, not very protective when it comes to iPhone 15. The, the camera popped off. You know, just a little damage, some some rice would be good, but 
Yeah, it's not, not very good looking for you guys, Keisku. That's the iPhone 15 full lineup drop tests. And uh, so far, like I mentioned before, only this one has came out victorious. So we're just going to throw it and we're still good on this one. So, all right, so that has been the iPhone 15 full lineup drop tests. If you guys want to see more content just like this, make sure you like, comment, of course, to subscribe. Case Coup kind of ruined it, <laughs> in my opinion, but Subcase came in strong with the UB Pro cases that we did for at least a good while. It did break after, I'd say, five drops, but for the most part, it did a pretty good job when it came to the drop testing, especially the UB style. The UB style actually survived, I'd say, five drops before it before I had to switch it out for the case coup and then immediately after I switched it out for the case coup it broke so that just goes to say that subcase does a really really great job when it comes to making cases and protecting your phone your thousand dollar investment instead of it breaking just just invest into a better case so I, I'll leave a link in the description for this one if you want to check out case coup then you can check it out as well they make some good cases this one happened to be not so good but subcase makes good cases no matter what